Hey YouTube, it's Tanya here. I have literally tried to film this video three times, but he had not mellowed out enough yet. So there's Paxton in his Wonder Swing, as we have dubbed it. He looks kind of like an old man on a rocking chair, doesn't he? Sorry. Anyway, this swing gets us through so many nights and so many, like, just caught... Co not colicky moments, like, but just crying moments. He's not colicky, but sometimes he'll just cry because he's got gas that he can't push out or, or something. And we just put him in the swing and it just mellows him right out, which is nice. So I'm going to do a quick review on my diaper caddy. And then I'm going to do a little bit more of a lengthy review on the two mobiles in my son's crib. So let's start with the quick one. This is my diaper caddy. It is by Prince Lionheart. It is made of hard plastic. As you can see, really hard plastic. And it has these two compartments on the side here. They don't, like, move. Like, once they're in, they don't move. Like, it's really, like it takes some serious pressure. See how much like, pressure I had to push that out of there? And this one is really in there. So, there, like that. So, you can take them out if you want. You don't have to have them in there. I like them. Um, this one's great because we just put, like, butt cream in it. Because this is where we change him. So, we reach from here to here really quick, right? Diapers in here, thermometer. Now, this is something I want to tell all of you about. If your baby has cradle cap, this is what I've been using. Eczema Care Cream by Aveeno. This is dermatologist recommended. It's really good. It's um, steroid free and fragrance fee. Because Paxton had really bad baby acne. And so the doctor prescribed us, you know, like a cortisone cream. Cortisone has steroid in it. So I don't like that at all. Um, and he prescribed us two different ones because you can't put one. Well, he's part, there's three different ones. One is for his butt. One is for his face and one is for his body because you can't put the same amount of cortisone on your face as you're putting on a baby's body. So that really scares me that you have to have three different creams for one kind of illness. So I've been using this on his body and his face and also on his head for cradle cap and it's been working wonderfully. So we use very little of the cortisone on him, as little as we have to, I guess. Um, now, as you can see, the diaper wipe warmer fits right in there. It's made by the same company, um, Prince Lionheart. Um, the green light lets it, lets you know it's on. To fill it, you lift this up, and then you put the wipes in there. And there is the pad on the bottom that looks different than the wipes. That is the pad that keeps the moisture in these so they don't dry out. I have not found mine have dried out. I heard that was a common complaint. I actually find mine have too much moisture in them. Um, and I'm often dumping out the bottom of this so that there isn't as much moisture because I find my wipes are really wet. So, and then to use it, you just pop this little thing open, and then there's your wipes. Um, I find they come out quite quite warm, and which is nice. They last for about 30 seconds, the warmth. But for me, the warmth was more about the initial touch in the middle of the night. If you put a cold wipe on a baby in the middle of the night, they're going to wake up. With Paxton, we can change him at 4 in the morning and put him back to bed, and he does not wake up, which is really nice. So, let's move on to this. I'm going to start with the Fisher Price, this one down here. This is the one that we've been using since Paxton came home and was born. So I'm going to show you how it works. You um, turn it on from here. And then you can turn it off from there as well. It has three different features. The button is on the right hand side of the top. Um, the fish moves and the bubbles come on this feature. If I switch it to this one, the fish and the bubbles stop. And just the light stays on. And then the last one, the light will actually dim down. And it's just the music. It has 25 different music and sounds, from what I remember on the box. I'm going to turn you guys around here. There we go. 25 different music and sounds, so you use this button to change it. And this button controls how loud it is, so it has three sound settings. Off, not so loud, medium loud, really loud. Um, so we normally keep it on the, on the medium or the lowest one, just because... In the middle of the night when we're in bed, it comes with this handy dandy remote. So if he starts to fuss a little, we just push the remote and this one will turn on. Here, I'll show you. If I put it to the fish, you can actually see if it's turning on. See? Just from one click. And one click to turn it off. Now, some downfalls with this. I don't love the way it connects to the crib. So if you want it sitting up front, you have to see these white straps, which isn't a big, big deal. But I don't really love it on a black crib. Um, and I don't like the remotes, so I only have the one for the Ocean Wonders one because the one for the Love You Zoo, I don't know where I've put it. But if you'll see, when I hit this remote, yeah, that turns on, but so does this. 
So it turns on both mobiles because it has the same, and it turns off both mobiles because it has the same um, sensor in it. Um, as you can see, that's the sensor right there. So that's frustrating. We've set ours up so that if you're lying in bed, this one will connect only to the right side of the bed and that one only to the left. So we know if whoever's on whatever side of the bed needs to turn on what side of the mobile he's using. Reason why I have two mobiles in his crib. Number one, we didn't know which one he was going to like. Number two, do you see these little like pocket holes? You can kind of tell that they're there. Not really. He doesn't have bad ones because we rotate him. So Paxton doesn't sleep on one side all the time. We put him here sometimes. We put him here sometimes. Just depending on whatever side of our arm he's in, number one. And number two, more to get his head development. Paxton never had a cone head. Um, and uh, he never he hasn't lost any of the hair at the back of his head. And I think part of the reason for that is because we move him um, from both sides. So both sides of his head are getting worked. Um, so he's not like, you know, he's not always turning to the left or always turning to the right. He's always changing the way he's looking, which is nice. So let's talk about this one. Oh, sorry, rating. So for this one, I would give this one um, a 9 out of 10 for functionality. It does everything, and I love it. It plays 25 minutes of straight music before it turns itself off. Um, and it's it, the, the blue light is quite calming because it's not a bright blue light, even though it seems very bright to us. Baby's eyes see differently, so it's not very bright for them. So I love those features about this one. So a 9 out of 10. Price, I think it was $59.99 in Canada or $69.99 in Canada. I bought it on sale at Toys R Us, but I think it was $69.99. But baby stuff like this always goes on sale, so just keep an eye out while you're pregnant. Um, because this is the stuff that you can buy while you're pregnant anytime and it never goes bad. So, the Love You Zoo. So, this one is a little bit different and a little bit more frustrating. This one Paxson did not use at all his first month of life. A, babies can't see that far away. B, they don't see in color. So these animals spinning did nothing for him his first month of life. Now that he's a month and two weeks and his eyes are starting to develop more, he loves this thing. So I use the Fisher Price one for night and I use this one mostly for the day. Um, this one because he gets really active in the day and he wants something to keep him occupied. If I lay him in this bed and I turn that on, he will sit here for 20 minutes and stare at them. And that's not a bad thing because he's tracking them. So he doesn't just stare at one, he actually moves his eye from one to the other, which is a great skill for babies to learn. Um, and he, he kicks his legs and moves his arms. It's like he's playing with them. He gets very active. So this one, here's what I don't like about it. Here's your sound button. Okay. Here's your choice. You have music, nighttime music, or sounds. We're going to go on music for now. And there's your sensor. Now, to turn this one on and off from standing here, it's the same thing as that one. It's this little birdie button. Oh, here, hang on. Move birdie button over here. This turns the whole mobile on. The lion's heads will start moving. I don't know if you guys can tell they're moving, but they are. Yeah, there you go. So, and then the mobile turns around and around and around. So to change the song, the only way to do it, it's not up on the top, it's to reach in and hit the birdie again. That changes the song or the sound. That is frustrating. Again, the sensor works with this too. I'm gonna use Fisher Price one because it does work but it only turns it on and off. So if you get to the point where you're at a sound that you don't love, or your baby gets annoyed with that sound or wants to change, you have to actually get up, walk over and change it. This one will change with the scent. No, it doesn't. They both do the same thing. What's my issue then? I don't know. Anyway, sorry guys. Um, so yeah, it's just when you're standing here. Oh, I know. When I'm standing up and I'm beside the crib, this is really easy to change. It's like, oh, oh, you don't like that one? Okay, what about that one? This one, I have to be like, hang on, Paxton. And, you know, push, push, till I find one that he likes. So that can be frustrating. Um, for this one, I would probably give it a, I would say a 7 out of 10. Um, I don't like the functionality as well. It turns off after 20 minutes, which is nice. Um... But Paxton couldn't use it when he was first born, and that first month is when I wanted something to really help me calm him. And I found that I couldn't use that one because he couldn't see it, and he would just get more frustrated. With the Fisher Price one, it, it really did help right away because the blue light calmed him, the, the, the ocean rolls calmed him. And uh, so, yeah, 7 out of 10. And I think that one is $59.99 um, here. I again bought them both on sale, so I don't know. But. Those are my reviews on the two mobiles that we have. Um, if you're only going to pick one mobile, 
I would definitely go for this one. I like the discreetness that there's nothing hanging off your crib. So when I'm standing here, you don't really see anything but the little blue bit that's there, right? And I could have installed it on the other side or even on the ends. Um, but that's all you see. You don't see dangly stuff and, and stuff like that. So it goes really well with any decor. And Paxton really likes it. And my first son had the same one but the old model because he's eight now. And he kept his for four years before I could pry it out of his hands. So, yeah. Um, I would really recommend the Fisher-Price one. The Fisher-Price Ocean Wonders one. Oh, let's turn you this way. The Fisher-Price Ocean Wonders one over the Love You Zoo one. But it's a personal preference. That's just my opinion. If you guys have any other mobiles that you love, please post them in the down bar. Uh, I'd love to see your videos. And we're going to say goodnight to Paxton. Or goodbye to Paxton. Good nap is what we call it. We don't say good night um, because we have him on a routine already and we don't like to confuse him. So when he goes down for a nap, it's good nap. It's good nap, Paxton. It's not good night, Paxton. So we don't confuse his little mind. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And um, the next review I'm going to be doing is probably on my Angel Care Monitor. And uh, take a look at some of my other videos if you're interested in baby stuff. All right. Have a good day, guys.